I am Saurabh Pandey. This is Equal Depository, and welcome to Power Cell Beginner to Advanced Part Three. If you have not watched Part One or Part Two, then I would recommend to go back and watch Part One and Part Two first, and then come back to this video. You will find the link of Part Two at the top of this video. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's start. So the first command that I have today is get child item, and what this command does is. this command let me clear the uh, screen first okay so what this command does is uh, whenever whenever you will run this command uh, without providing any path it will list out all the files in the current path so in my case the current path is c power cell in your case it could be different right so if i'll go ahead and execute this it will list out all the files and folder inside c power cell So the first two, if you'll see, these are the folders, and then you can see text file, M4A file, M3U file, TXT, and MP4 files. So it has listed out uh, all the files inside C Power Cell. But one thing, one thing that you would have observed by now that it did not go inside the subfolders like MySQL blocking and PS B2A2. Ah, uh, these are two folders, and there are a couple of files, but it did not list out those files. what if you want uh, your power cell command to go inside the sub folder sub directories also and list out the files for you in that case you can use this parameter which is recurse parameter and if you'll run this command let me clear the below screen first and uh, then let me go ahead and execute this command this time if you'll see it has written all the file from the root directory which is c power cell but it also went inside the sub directories which is mysql blocking and the other one and also listed out the files inside those sub folders right so this is how you can uh, you can uh, list out all the files and folders and go inside the sub folders if you want uh, to list out uh, all the files and folders uh, uh, and this is your requirement right okay but uh, what if you don't want to list out the files from your current location you want uh, to list out the files from some other path in that case you have the path parameter with get child item and you can give the path and it will list out the files from the given path only so if i'll execute this file you can see this this time it has went directly inside c power cell mysql blocking and uh, it has listed out the files right so this is how uh, you can you can uh, list uh, list out the files and folders from some other location uh, other than the default location right okay now the same thing i can i can do all the c power cell is is my default location but if you i want to use the path parameter i can give the path and then i can go recursively and list out all the files and folders and files from the sub folders right okay so uh, this is the this is the little basic about get child item although it comes with uh, lots of other parameters so i would recommend to use get help to learn get child item and uh, i would also tell you that what else you can do on the top of it okay so there are other a couple of other commands that i'm going to cover in this particular video and there are couple of other things that uh, you can do and uh, you can use in your uh, in your uh, real time uses in your real time requirements right so let me go ahead and uh, uh, first uh, cover where object uh, command uh, the where object command is a command which is useful to filter out the uh, filter out the uh, uh you know output of uh, of uh, you know whatever you are getting from the left side of uh, the pipe so this is the exactly same command and uh, it will return the exactly same values that you have seen here right in the output let me clear the output first and then after that i have a pipe and then i have the command where object and then i'm doing the filtering and this is my filter condition so before coming to filter condition let me tell you what exactly this dollar underscore uh, uh, we are doing here so dollar underscore is an object which contains the input from the left side so whatever is coming from left side it will reside under this object so what i am doing here is from this object i am only referring the name property and then i have this filter condition which is like dot mp4 so i want to list out all the files which has dot mp4 extension and uh, i you can also see the asterisk here for the for the wild card search so name could be anything but uh, it must have the extension which is dot mp4 so let me go ahead and execute this command 
and you can see that it has listed all the files which has extension .mp4. So all the all .mp4 files uh, you can see in the output now. Right, so this is one of the real time users. Like if you want to uh, fetch the detail of any particular type of file, this is what you have to do. And uh, you can give the multiple conditions also. Like uh, in my next command, you can see I have the same condition, but then I have uh, or, and then I have given other, uh, the, uh, you know, one more condition here, which is either file uh, should be uh, .mp4 or it should be uh, .txt. So this time I'm gonna fetch all the files which has extension .mp4 or .txt as I have this uh, or operator in the middle. There are many other operators also like uh, if you'll see there is and operator, there is as operator, there are many many other operators like C contains and uh, then if you are dealing with, uh, with uh, the numbers then you have greater than, less than, greater than, equal to operator and then match operator, not operator, like operator. So there are many other operators which uh, I will, uh, you know, so with the examples in the future videos also, so uh, in examples I, I will cover uh, most of these operators, right? Okay, so let me go back to our operator for now. And if I'll execute this command, let me clear the screen first and uh, okay. So if I'll go ahead and execute this command, this time you can see uh, from this folder, it has got uh, .mp4 from MySQL blocking also, it has got .mp4, but in the root folder, there was a text file also and it has listed in fact, there were two uh, text files and you can see a.txt and ts transcript onetxt file also. So uh, this time you have got uh, all the .mp4 and .txt file back in the output, right? Okay, what else you can do? Okay, so um, in this command uh, output, you can see that you have got the property which is mode, last write time, length and name. But are these the only property or there are many other properties associated with the files and folders? So yes, there are many other properties, but uh, uh, this is just the default view. If you will not uh, give the property name, then it will just uh, give you those properties back, okay? But if you want all the properties to be uh, listed, then what you can do after this, you can use a pipe and then use another command, which I've already covered in the last session, which is select hyphen object. And uh, after that, you can use the parameter property and uh, asterisk means you want all the properties back, but you can uh, give the property name also and it will return only those properties. For now, I'm gonna uh, um, ask my PowerShell command to return all the properties and these properties, it is gonna return in the list, list format. So without uh, this format list command, let me go ahead and execute the command and then I'll tell you what exactly the format hyphen list command is. So if I'll execute this, you can see that the uh, output you have got in the list format already. It is not in the table format anymore, right? Because there are many, there are lots of other properties and if you'll get the output in the table format, uh, it won't look proper because if, okay, let me actually change it to format table first and then let me go ahead and execute this and this is what I meant. You cannot see uh, all the properties because of, because of uh, the limitation of uh, the output window, right? So uh, this is why it, the PowerShell automatically converted the output in the view format. But if you still want the output in the table format, you can always use uh, format hyphen table, but this is not useful if you are uh, checking the output here, but if you are dumping the output in a CSV file or text file, uh, you can go ahead and always use format table. Uh, how can you dump the output in, in the CSV file and text file? This will be, uh, this, uh, these commands will be part of the future, future session. So stay tuned with uh, the series of videos and you will learn all these, right? Okay, so, but anyways, if you uh, want any, any uh, output which is in table format and uh, you want this output to be converted into the list format, then you can always go ahead and do format list and you will get the result in the list format. So if I'll run this command without any formatting and without giving any properties, it will return only those four properties, right? And uh, that, uh, that will be in the table format. But what if I'll give the pipe and then give uh, the command format hyphen list, then in that case, it will return the output in the list format. And it has given all the properties this time because uh, 
in list format uh, it can show all the properties so that is why it is showing all the properties you don't have to actually give a property star right okay so these are the few command uh, which you can use to format uh, the output uh, or uh, you know the filter the output and get only the desired output uh, or uh, the output as per your requirement right so in the next command what i am doing is i am doing exactly the same thing but this time i am giving the property name which is name creation time directory and is read only so i want only these four properties back and uh, i want these properties to uh, be written in the list format in the output right so if i'll go ahead and execute this you can see this uh, uh, output and you can clearly see that it is returning only those four properties and uh, it is in list format but if i'll change it to format table now you can see the output in the table format so here this time the output is in table format so you can use format list or format table based on your requirement okay now what else could be the real time use of it so to so one more real time use i am going to introduce one more command which is sort object and this command is useful to sort the object in either ascending or descending for for you know uh, manner uh, particularly so i have also given the property which is uh, a last write time and this property actually um, uh, you know uh, i have given this property so that i can tell uh, this command to uh, command that on what basis it has to sort so it has to sort on the basis of last write time and the sorting must be in the descending format so i have given this parameter here oops so uh, this uh, descending parameter here so it will a uh, return all the files in the uh, descending format uh, with respect to last write time so let me go ahead and execute this part of the command uh, first and uh, this time you can see that uh, the time is in descending format so the latest file is coming first and then uh, the older files right okay what if i want the uh, want the most latest file uh, from any folder how exactly we can do that so this part uh, we have already done after that uh, we will use a pipe and then i'll do a select object and then i will use a parameter which is uh, for available for select object and that is first and then i'll fetch first one row so it will return uh, the late, most recent file to me okay so if i'll go back to uh, this if you'll see uh, the most recent file that i can see in this output uh, hang on uh, so if, let me go up okay so this file which i have created uh, today which is 8th of june and this is the most recent file and let me go ahead and execute this it should return that file okay so this time you can see it has written only that file because uh, this is the most recent file and i want only the first one file so this is how you can you can sort the object and uh, uh, get the most recent file or uh, if you want uh, um, two most recent file then you can do first two and if i'll go ahead and execute this then it will return the first two files okay so the next command that i have is not different this is exactly the same but this time what i am doing is i am uh, selecting few properties and then i am doing the sort uh, sorting so this is also possible uh, there is no uh, limitation that you have to sort first or you have to select first but if you want to do a select first one and uh, it is basis of uh, some properties in that case first you will have to do sorting right without sorting you uh, if you will select first one then it won't be uh, based on your sorting because sorting you are doing uh, after selecting after uh, doing that uh, filtering of uh, top files or uh, last files whatever it is okay so but sorting you can always do if you just want to do sorting from the display purpose you can always go ahead and do the sorting after after select object and it will do the fine sorting for you so this time i have done on the basis of uh, the property name and you can see that a.txt came first because it is the first letter and then ps trans script then all the zoom files okay so this is what you can do. this is lot of other things that you can do uh, uh, on the top of output of these simple commands like get child item and uh, uh, whatever i have done it is not only associated with get child item you can use those uh, filtering or sorting or select object uh, with the other commands as well so just to show one example i am going to use get service okay and uh, then i have a pipe then i am going to do is 
where object and then dot name like uh, let me do a wildcard search and i want to uh, want this to return all the objects uh, all the uh, services uh, which has uh, the name sql in it so let me go ahead and execute this and uh, these are all the services which has uh, sql somewhere in the name what if you want to uh, sort on the basis of name or you want to sort on the basis of uh, status of the service then what you can do you can do a sort object then you can give a property which is the status and uh, this time if we'll go ahead and execute this you can see all these stopped services came first and then all the running services okay because this is in uh, uh, ascending format if you'll change the format to descending and if you'll execute this this time you can see all the running services are coming first and then all these uh, uh, stop services so this is also one one useful case where you want uh, all the uh, you know uh, you want to see all the running and stop services and you want to segregate those services so uh, this is how you can do so uh, whatever i have used in this session it can be used with with other uh, basic commands other uh, commands in the powershell as well it is not only associated with get ch get child item i've i've used uh, a get child item uh, just for the sake of examples but uh, as you you have seen that uh, the same thing is working perfectly fine with get service as well so this is what i wanted to cover in this session and as always thanks for watching